Hello Gemini, welcome to my channel. This is going to be a general reading for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Oh wow. <laughs> I won't take this yet because uh, I wasn't done talking. Um, this is uh, just going to be a Celtic spread for the solar eclipse energies that are flying about and five planets in retrograde until the 25th. So this is going to be for the rest of the month of June. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Remember to take what resonates and leave the rest behind. I don't read in reverse. Next message will come out the way it's supposed to come out regardless. So, when people, it just confuses a lot of people when you read them in reverse. So I did, I just don't do it. If you're, if you're new to this and you don't understand the cards, it's really hard to follow reversals. But if it's meant to come out that way, it's going to, regardless. All right? For you thinking Geminis out there. I know I'm a Gemini moon, so I, I totally understand where you're coming from. All right. I almost forgot to put my glasses on. That's good. Maybe I'm getting my sight back. <laughs> okay. Alright, where you're at right now? Victory. Six of Wands. We have a victory victorious situation here. I don't know what, what it's pertaining to because we haven't gotten that far yet. Let's go ahead and try to get some more information. What is crossing? Whoa, destiny. Wow. Your destiny is crossing you, Gemini. Nice. Oh, what is in your distant past? King Cups. Mm. Cancer Crisis Scorpio. We had a King of Cups in the distant past. In the most recent past, we have a King of Pentacles. Capricorn, Vir Virgo, Taurus. This is you. I feel like being comfortable. You were in love in the past. Okay? This is you being comfortable. Being by yourself. Being on your own. And you're just you're just the king of your own world or queen. You know, you're, you're doing your thing. You're not real concerned about the material things or you don't have any worries that's awesome let's see what uh, I mean are your best possible outcome it's gonna be making a choice I don't feel like this is an easy choice for you either Gemini I don't feel like this is gonna be an easy choice for you at all we'll see Let's see what, if we can get a little more information on that choice. Oh, ho, 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 ho. wow. Okay. Got some confusion going on here. And, and this, is the, this is kind of a good thing, Gemini. Because this is the best possible outcome for you. This is Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. But look at those swords. This is indecision. This is can't make up your mind. This is confusion or spying possibly on another person um, that you're in love with, obviously. And the tarot is saying the best possible outcome is for you to follow that heart. Wow. See what your immediate, immediate future's got. Nine of Pentacles and six. <laughs> Sorry guys, I, I don't read reversals. Like I said, the story will come out the way it comes out regardless. Um, is this somebody from your past, Gemini? I'm not feeling so much an inner child here. I'm feeling like this is an actual person coming forward. But they've taken their time. If this is in your immediate future, then they've taken a long time to get to you. Okay? But they are from your past. 
and they're coming in with an offer. Let's see what is factors affecting the situation. Factors affecting the situation. This is their destiny. Whoever this is for, it's your destiny to go on this journey with this person. Okay? Could be dealing with the King of Pentacles here if you're a feminine. I'm, I'm feeling that kind of strong. You're dealing with the Virgo Capricorn Taurus. You're dealing with some strong earthly energy. Very, very stable, very, uh, what do I want to say, um, stable, very, very grounded person, all right? Factors affecting the situation is, is either a three-party situation or somebody, somebody is celebrating. <laughs> Outside influences, yeah, there's so much. There's been so much toxicity in your life and in communication. I can feel that with this Ten of Swords. That you're you're just done. You know? You don't want to fight this anymore. You're just done. Let's just see what the next card is. Yeah. Hopes and fears. It's, it's, you're hoping that it, things are going to balance themselves out or you're dealing with a Sagittarius of some kind. And maybe that's a third party to this. So far what I see is Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. Okay. But that's that. We got Sagittarius there too. So it could be any one of them. Final outcome, Ace of Pentacles. So my guess is you went down the Pentacles route, which is prosperity, lots of uh, lots of Pentacles. And this is this is a gift being given to you at this end because you followed your destined path. That's what I'm hearing. Yeah, look at that, Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, right. What's that? Follow the yellow brick road or or, no, not that one. Um, <laughs> pot of gold at the end of the rainbow kind of thing. Yeah, they're there. That's what this reminds me of. <laughs> I almost said Dorothy. All right. This, this is beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous energy here. Gemini. Okay, what do we got for the Psychic Tarot? We got movement, choices, and decisions, and temptation. Ooh. Something is here to throw you off your path. Let's see what kind of information we can get. <clears throat> You're reaching out for the light. There is temptations here. There is disruption. Okay. Wow. Okay. What is the temptation? You're going to have the awareness of this tempt temptation. Great. <laughs> like I said, it was starting to worry me for a little bit. But no, this is, I mean, there's a disruption here in your movement. Because this person from the past, okay, is coming in to offer the forever pinnacle, okay? And I think it throws you off. That's why the indecision in, in the future, and you're just you're just moving and shaking right now. That's that's what you're doing. You're you're enjoying your life. But look in that card. There are two rings in that card. Okay. There's three pentacles and there's two rings. And in this card, looks like somebody's stuck, but they don't know which way to go. 
and that's that's pretty much what that means it means you don't know which way to go and that's you're going to be still stuck in that energy maybe later on because of this offer you don't know which way to go with it which is you know it's tempting you just don't know because you're aware that this is a temptation of some sort that the two of cups is 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 a temptation of, of sort okay i'm just saying you know maybe maybe that's you need to take the blindfold off here and and that is what the two of swords is pretty much saying is that i mean if i did read reversals i would read it that way but you need to see the truth about the situation the page of swords is confusion or spine or you know it's some form of, form of communication but it's not certain it's not grounded it's in the air okay um and and this is this is what you're kind of needing to pay attention to before you make any rash decisions in any situation regardless of how fast things are moving in your life okay so what I see here is that things are really moving fast with whatever this situation is and you're just done with a lot of stuff right now and you're in the, the entire the entire situation Gemini you're just kind of that's your outside influence you're just done you don't want nothing to do with anything but you're you're your life is moving it's moving quick it's moving into that that ace and ten of pentacles real fast so just keep yourself balanced because what's coming in for you is pretty substantial all right we got three of these wow they three this is the first time three of them's popped out Okay, Akasha, your guidance is divinely guided. So this, whatever messages you are getting right now, from here, from like seeing on signs and looking in things, and you know, that keeps leading you through a journey, that is what is, your, that's your Akasha records. It's teaching you who you are. Okay. You are one of the keepers of the earth. You are not alone. Ancient ancestors are standing behind you. And I feel that really strongly for you, Gemini. With the planets doing the way that they've been doing, I feel that real strongly for you. Excuse the noise, but we've got construction going on in the house. And then it's the initiation, the rite of passage and crossing the threshold. How beautiful is that? Look at that. Ten of Pentacles. The initiation wow that is so beautiful it's it's you're aware of this temptation whatever it might be already so you're like five steps ahead of the game let's get you a couple romance angels not that we knew it we really need them at this point but let's go ahead and pull a couple of these in a hidden realms for you i mean this is this is flat out beautiful I'm loving the energy of this solar eclipse. I mean, it usually, in something like this, we have a lot of negative energy. And, and there are a lot of ne negative things going on in the world. But my readings for the collective have been super uh, enlightening and very beautiful. We've got healing family issues, your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. And we got calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. Awesome. Flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. Yeah, I really feel like there's a lot of light, um, easy going energy, all except for that Ten of Swords. But I feel like this is just an unfoldment. And you're aware of it. You're completely aware of it. That's beautiful. That means you're awake, Gemini. Yes. That means you've woken up. You have the awareness of what these things are. 
that are coming in and you're realizing that these Akashic Records are just you finding out who you are. And you're healing any kind of inner child that you, that any kind of wounds that you had as an inner child. That's, that's just wonderful. It's a pretty heavy energy of outside influences though. Feeling like you just had enough, Gemini. And this is the in initiation and the rite of, pre of passage to cross the threshold of these third dimensional realities as is. You're you're changing. Wow. This is this is awesome. Well, I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. Uh, please like, subscribe, and share if you did. I'll see you guys next week. Okay? Bye for now.